This is my review on Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. I give this a 10 out of 10 for being the amazing with amount of stupid it is, has in it. You know, I think the reason why people I didn't like the first two Ghost Rider films, much like they didn't like most films made by Fox and Sony put out. Wait, simple this Blade Man movies. Anyway, so I we take that back. Uh so anyway, the reason why people probably didn't like most movies that Fox did is probably just because Marvel didn't do them and they went their own studio at some uh, some points in time. They want their own studio. Uh, and uh, Marvel didn't do them, so not because they were actually bad. Because when you really look at all the Marvel movies, they pretty much they make just as much. They have made as much stupid stuff as Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance, and uh, dumber like like one could like, argue that the Internals is a, ten, a ten out of ten just because well. The first X Men movie is sort of a ten out of ten, so why wouldn't the Eternals do that? Deserve that because both of them are very not the most faithful to the comic books, compiles, and look not much like the comics and um, terms of tone style. And Ghost Rider, the movies are guilty of the same thing. Rather than being a horror genre, it goes for more like action. The Ghost Rider movies. And, um... I think that's enough said. And, you know, I think a 10 out of 10 should go... Anything should do that. This, is, this gets a 10 out of 10 from me because there's... Well, it might be dumb a lot of the time. So is the first, pretty much every Avenger movie. It was dumb a lot of times, especially the first one. Like, just sleep level dumb. From 2017, starring Ben Affleck and Gal Dunn and all the other characters. And actors. Uh, yeah, so, um... Honestly, I really enjoy the movie Spirit of Vengeance. I say it's worth my 10 out of 10. And I say it's worth going back into watching it. The story is pretty straightforward and uh it's not the smart story, but it does have a lot of cool invented action things in the movie. So sort of like the first some of the first Ghost Rider movie. Does it have something to it's a good like uh representation of Ghost Rider from the comics? Oh, fuck no. Uh, no, it's not. But again, the nice that any of the X-Men movies are. The ones from the original X-Men trilogy that Fox came out with. So, much like Spawn, you can tell just by looking at the movie, and that's a completely different, uh, so it's completely different, and not related to, related to the source material, and why not why aren't the source material at all. It's that the first Spawn movie might have um, not hit as home run like the Ghost Rider movies did, I say. Or maybe it did. I'm going to have to think about that. About that. So, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance goes a 10 out of 10. That's why. And, um, I think that's enough of the... I think that's enough. Uh, that's my thoughts. Bye, and subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up.